interested in how art has the potential to problematize the shifting cultural, ethical and political forces that govern and determine life, death and personhood, Guy ben Ari and Kirsten Hudson had developed in Potentia, a liminal boundary creature of animate and inanimate matter. Informed by the aesthetics of steampunk, retrofuturism, and 18th century scientific paraphernalia, Impotentia is a speculative, techno-scientific experiment with disembodied human material, diagnostic biomedicine equipment, and a cell reprogramming technique called induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPS. Developed in 2007, IPS represents a significant shift in developmental biology as it means that we can now take adult cells from any part of the body and reverse engineer them with a retrovirus capable of coaxing the cells back into an embryonic stem cell-like state. These stem cells can then be tricked into becoming kidney, heart muscle or brain cells or any other cell type. At a cellular level, the potential of IPS cell technology not only appears to make the ethical dilemmas associated with human embryonic stem cell research old news, but also makes it possible to define and manipulate smaller and smaller units of live matter, enabling increasingly subtle distinctions between one kind of life and another. Beginning with human foreskin cells purchased from an online catalogue, Ben Ari and Hudson have been supported by Symbiotica, the Centre of Excellence in Biological Arts at the University of Western Australia, to work with Associate Professor Stuart Hodgetts in the Spinal Cord Repair Laboratory to learn how to reprogram human foreskin cells into stem cells and then differentiate them into neurons. What results is a real functioning neural network or biological brain created from human foreskin cells. Then, in collaboration with Mark Lawson, coordinator of product and furniture design in the School of Design and Art at Curtin University, Western Australia, Ben Ari and Hudson created a purpose-built sculptural incubator from repurposed Western Australian wood called Eucalyptus Wandu, aged brass and handcrafted glass. Contained within this incubator is a DIY bioreactor or automated life support system which Ben Ari and Hudson designed and built specifically for the public presentation of living matter, as well as a multi-electrode array that converts the electrical activity of the neural network into an unsettling soundscape. Custom built for Ben Ari and Hudson by garage neuroscientist Tim Marzullo from Backyard Brains, a company that sells DIY electrophysiological recording kits the multi-electrode array was then sent to the Steve Potter Laboratory for Neuroengineering, located in Georgia Tech, Atlanta, to be tested for its authentic neural recording validity. Embodying the unsettling possibilities of the not yet living and the not yet dead, Impotentia is an absurd thought experiment that not only symbolises our worst nightmares regarding the destruction of clear-cut categories of life, death and embodied material wholeness, it also forces us to see that rather than being a concrete and discrete category, who or what is called a person is a highly contingent formation that is neither stable nor self-evident. By creating a biological brain out of foreskin cells, Ben Ari and Hudson's alchemical transformation of living human material ironically challenges the modern Western fetishization of consciousness. This makes us wonder what is the potential for artists employing biotechnologies to address and modify boundaries surrounding understandings of life, death and personhood? And what exactly does it mean culturally, artistically, ontologically, philosophically, politically and ethically to make a living biological brain from human foreskin cells? <laughs>